Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to mod your Eshin EV100 goggles here so that you can use the Fat Shark diopters. And you can see I've already done the mod here. I'll actually show you here how to do it in a second. Just a couple of things to note. You do have to use a Dremel tool or some other method to hack away the plastic uh, to make little slots here. And you can see they have to be parallel to the screens, not to the goggles. And you can see that there's an angle there. These definitely do work. Um, my vision is more or, or worse, I guess, than the adjusting capability of these dials here, which I think is the, the maximum power is negative four if you're nearsighted, and I'm a negative six in the right eye, negative six and a half in the left eye, and so I need the diopters to be able to focus on the screen. Otherwise, I have to wear my contact lenses, and uh, with the diopters and the adjustments here, I was able to get perfect focus. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you how I took it apart and what I did in terms of like the cuts I made and where I made them and I hope it's all back together. Okay, so I've already started taking these apart so that I can try and mod these to put my diopters in here. And obviously you can see that it's curved here to fit your face, but the the lens here is straight. So you're going to have to uh, well, I'm going to Dremel this. I'm going to have to make this basically parallel to the lens, not to the curve. It's got to be this way, and it's got to be the same distance on both sides. Although, oh, the distance probably is not that critical because you can still adjust the distance with the little dials. So I'm going to get them as close as possible, and I think that this will help a lot if I can use my fat or diopters. Just need to cut little slits in, in the top piece of the plastic and the bottom piece. It's pretty easy to take apart. Uh, there's four screws on the bottom here. You take those off, then you then the top comes off. Uh, you have to take these two screws off here to um, remove the fan, because so, the fan's soldered onto the PCB. And then there's four screws that hold the PCB to the bottom piece of plastic. So I took those four off. They're right here. And then you got these two ribbon cables. You're going to have to take those off. Those go to the two screens here. And then uh, you're going to have to unscrew the on-off switch over here, these two screws. And then there's four screws, two each for the the uh, screens and the lenses here. So I can pop those off. And uh, at that point, I can then cut into these pieces of plastic here with the Dremel tool. Okay, so I did a little Dremeling and put some slits in the upper part of the plastic here. And it, actually, that's the lower. No, this is the upper and this is the lower. And maybe got a little too aggressive there, but I did test fit these, put these together, and the diopters, they do slide in, you can see. So I'm not exactly sure why Yishin didn't just uh, put these slits in here as part of the mold. If you guys are watching, you should do that because it's uh, not difficult. But uh, it's still possible to Dremel them out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and, and hopefully the diopters will work. Well, we'll keep my fingers crossed. Okay, so after quite a bit of finagling, I got them in there and you can see they're pretty straight. And let's see if they do anything to the image. Let's turn these guys on. Not sure if that's any better or worse. It's probably going to be better for my eyes. I can focus on it. Obviously the camera is doing the focusing here. But you can see the diopters fit. So I'm not sure why Yishin didn't put those slots in there. Uh, and limit the audience of their goggles to negative four and better. So now I now with these negative six, I can, uh, diopters, I can, I can definitely use these. So Okay, I forgot that I have uh, this uh, foam plate here, or the, the goggle plate, and you're going to need to cut away more plastic here, otherwise you can't get this plate to seat, and uh, once you cut away more of the plastic on the inside part right here, you can see I cut away here and here, same on this side, then the uh, plate will then 
uh, lock in place. Otherwise, it won't go in. So, just some more stuff to cut out. And uh, I think I should be good to go now.